anyone who owns an EtherWave Pro is going to be familiar with the sight of these two components. This is the pitch arm and this is the pitch rod. If there is any <laughs> any qualm that I have with the EtherWave Pro and its design, it is these threads. They are so fine, so close together, and so incredibly easy to strip. I'm sure many of you have had this experience trying to simply line the threads on the outside of the pitch rod up with the threads on the inside of the pitch arm. It can be incredibly difficult. The main thing is to be able to try to get it seated in just perfectly so that the threads line up and as you screw the rod in the threads almost align themselves. It should feel automatic. However, most of the time you miss. And when you feel that resistance of missing, of not quite getting it seated right like it is now, the danger is that you're going to strip both sets of threads. It can be a little bit frustrating. However, I discovered through watching some plumbers work in my house, this product, it's called Teflon Tape. We'll cut off a small piece, and you can see already, it's very fragile, very delicate, very thin, so thin that even scissors have a little bit of trouble cutting through it. There we go. It sticks to itself a little bit many times. Just straighten it out. There we are. All right. Line it up with the threads on the pitch rod. Just drape it over gently. There we go. You may have to hold it down with one finger to keep it from moving, at least as you start. And then just wind the tape around. There we go. Once you're done, maybe one or two revolutions around the pitch rod, and you can tear off or cut off the excess. There it is. The next thing you want to do is apply gentle pressure around the threads in the direction that you wound the tape. And this presses the tape down into the threads. This will act as not only a cushion, but as a lubricant to ease the effort with which you need to be able to line these threads up with the pitch rod threads. I've put the scissors and the tape away to give myself some room. What we're going to do now is try to seat the pitch arm inside the pitch rod. The simple application of the tape doesn't always result in it threading at first any easier or finding the thread alignment, but gentle, gentle exploration down in this area will absolutely result in success. And when it does, take a look. The pitch rod slides beautifully in because of the tape. There it goes. Absolutely perfect. It slides in the direction of the thread so the tape is never stripped out. Now, in general, you may need one or two applications of tape just to get used to it. And it can be a little difficult to remove the tape from the threads. Eventually, after a few uses and a few times playing the EtherWave Pro, the threads are going to strip out the tape and you have to reapply. But in general, it's a much, much safer way to thread these two pieces together.